Kevin, I'm here with Dwight Howard. And Dwight, you look really strong so far tonight. What's been your approach? I'm just trying to play with a lot of energy. I'll do the best I can on the defensive end to help my teammates out. Uh, most hard. Dwight, thank you so much. Kevin, one of the most intimidating defenders in the league. Taking a look at New York, they are four games out of the final playoff spot, so they'll need some good breaks down the final stretch to make it happen. Well, it's been a good season series, and, and they have a one-game edge in this matchup and can finish it at three wins in four games tonight. Yeah, they've had success in this matchup. No reason to think they can't get it done again here tonight. So let's take a look at the Charlotte starting lineup. Kid Gilchrist and Williams are at the forward spots. Batuma's out there with Kemba Walker. And it's Howard in at the five spot. Kid Gilchrist, no luck. Hornets on defense now. This game coming on the heels of their win against Toronto. And guys, they could have won that game on the strength of their offense alone. It was that good. And most impressive when you do it on the road like that. They just kept coming at them wave after wave. And they really kept the crowd on mute in that. And so it's the Knicks getting on the board first. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give them two chances at the free throw line here. And watching Kimball Walker play so explosive. An undersized floor general, nasty crossover. Really a scorer's mentality. Maybe too much of a scorer's mentality to ever be a great assistant. And he makes the first. Ah, Greg talking about Walker. You have to love the way he competes, his willingness, Clark, to put the team on his shoulders and carry him. Love that competitive spirit of his. They're actually figuring out how to use him best, but he's such a dynamic offensive player. You've got to give him room to be creative at that end. So he gets them both. New York with the ball. Last time they met was in Charlotte, where they beat the Hornets. In the last meeting of these two teams, they were really sharp defensively, disrupting the flow of their offense and causing a ton of turnover. Very satisfying performance, Greg, and one they'll look to repeat tonight. I mean, they ended up winning it going away. Here's Kid Gilchrist. The Knicks making the shot. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. A clear look for Hardaway. It's rebounded by Charlotte. He's got to be disappointed with himself on that one. He has got to knock those down. Now here's Walker. Nine points last game out. Inside. Out of bounds. New York takes possession. No clue where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. For New York, they've gone two or three here to start out the game. D passes to Beast. He dishes it to Hardaway. He kicks it to Noah. Kept alive by New York for Zingas. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. His hard work on the backboard really just has given them more opportunities to score. Walker dishes to Howard. Outside, Walker. Screen by Howard. Walker goes in. Six to shoot. And Howard with the stuff. And how sweet a play was that? As sweet as it gets. An exquisite pass to set up Clark. That beautiful alley-oop dunk. Yeah, that was nice. No doubt. There are assists. And then, guys, there are assists. Here's Porzingis following the basket by Dwight Howard. New York moving it around. Here's Noah, and he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. And you look at Joe Kim Noah. I mean, one of those hybrid talents. As a center, he gives you the rebounding, the shot blocking you want. But then he also has tremendous passing skills and instincts and the energy of a mountain lion. That's good from Joe Kim Noah. And going back to Joe Kim Noah, he really is a hybrid. He holds American, Swedish, and French citizenships. He's truly a man of the world and he's worldly on the floor he can guard and play a lot of different positions and, and Kevin he, he looks like a man of the world he, he has a unique style unto himself but but I'll take the versatility and the hustle he brings on my team any day if he's healthy he's a fact so it's the Knicks now following the miss by Kemba Walker Howard with the steal here's Walker that's good and so Howard with the assist 
That's a quick bucket there. Solid in transition. Well, you know, he loves the chance to get out and run, and you can see right there why he does. Now here's Beasley. Really struggled in the loss against Indiana. Beasley the screen. D passes to Hardaway. From 12 feet out, the shot is off. Now Charlotte takes it the other way. Here's Kit. Oh, oh, wow. That's a beautiful jam. No doubt that is within his range. Well, I would hope so. He's a pro, and it was only a one-footer. Come on now. That Kia slam cam replay really gave you a good look at the action. Now here's Beasley. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. Now the pass to Noah. Hardaway for three. That's good. Hornets trail by three. And Walker kicks to Kid Gilchrist. Picked by Williams. Walker dishes to Kid Gilchrist. A three-pointer off the mark. Boy, with an open look like that, he is so gifted. Man, you've got to play better defense. Eventually, he's going to make you pay. Yeah, you can see he's still in rhythm, even though he misses that one almost always deadly when he's that open. And a whole new group out on the floor right now for the Knicks. So an almost entirely new group in now for Charlotte. Zeller is checked in for Howard. Kaminsky comes in for Marvin Williams. Jeremy Lance checked in for Kid Gilchrist. And it's Carter Williams in for Walker. Now here's Sessions. It's off his foot. And they're saying he kicked the ball. on the shot clock. Shoots from the elbow. The Hornets pull it in. Sessions against Carter Williams. Back to Batum. Knocked loose. Ramon Sessions with the steal. Now in the scoring column with that deuce. One for two this game. Well, that's why they're on the lead. Aggressive play at both ends. Very nicely done there. Absolutely. They make the steal, pay dividends instantly on the fast break. Now here's Batum. He had a 30-point outing their last game against the Raptors in Toronto. And also give him credit for his ability to pass the basketball. He was always looking for the open man. Here's Sessions. Frank Kaminsky making his last shot. No one near Sessions as he lets it fly. Misses off the right iron. The fader. No luck. The Knicks leading by three. Kuzminski gets the pass to Sessions. Thomas sets a screen for Sessions. That's tipped. And it's out of bounds to New York. They'll retain possession. Now that we have a moment, let's take a peek at the teams that are leading the league in blocks. Fifth on the list, the Hornets. I mean, terrific rim protection. I mean, they rotate and help on the inside as well as anybody. And, of course, you want to keep offenses on the outside shooting jump shots, and that continues to be the goal. Lee, left side. Pass to Kuzminskis. To the wing on the left. Lock at six. New York needs to get off a shot. Here's the three. His touch has disappeared on him this quarter. He just hasn't been able to get it going. He's been anything but his usual self this quarter. It's actually been ugly to see. And it's out of bounds. The Hornets able to retain possession here. Charlotte making a switch here. Roberts checked in. Here's Lamb. Quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. Carter Williams against Lee. Shot clock at six. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. And when it comes to Michael Carter Williams, guys, I feel like people either love him or they don't buy him.